morning. There is breaking news this morning from the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. I'm Jennifer Wilson. There was a plane crash here overnight. A Learjet crashed a few minutes before midnight with six passengers on board. WIS has learned that four of those passengers have died. Two have survived. We have just confirmed that one of the survivors on the plane is a man named Travis Barker. NBC News, News is reporting it is the same Travis Barker that is in the group Blink-182. He was a former drummer with the group Blink-182. He is at the Augusta Burn Center this morning. Behind us, there is an unbelievable scene here. We're standing on Highway 302 next to the airport. Behind us, you can see the wreckage of the Lear jet that crashed here on takeoff just a few minutes before midnight. It landed on an embankment on the side of the road and caught fire. Some parts of the plane are completely burned. Over on the other side here, you can see the fence that leads to the airport. Beyond that fence, there is a debris field with debris from the plane scattered across. The plane seemed to skid across the runway, left a lot of debris at the edge, came across the fence, went over the fence, knocking down the fence, across Highway 302, and then landed in the embankment where it caught fire. Right, uh, what we do know this morning, again, four people died, two survivors. One of those survivors, Travis Barker, NBC News is reporting it is the same Travis Barker that was formerly with the group Blink-182. The National Transportation Safety Board is on its way here to investigate the cause of this crash. So far, we don't know what caused it or if the plane ever even left the ground. Meantime, a small stretch of Highway 302 is closed and also Columbia Metro Airport is closed. So if you have a flight that's leaving from the airport this morning, the airport officials are telling us to make sure that you call your airline. More information on this crash as it becomes available. Reporting live at the Columbia Metro Airport, I'm Jennifer, Mil Jennifer Wilson. Right now we go back to regularly scheduled programs.